your portfolio optimizer tool allows you to see what changes should be made to your model portfolio based on one of the four strategies that you have to choose from. As you can see here, I'm on a blank portfolio optimizer page that I found under the tools section. And I'm going to start by entering in any static model portfolio I have that has 100 or less holdings. So I'm going to go in and just start entering in the name of the portfolio. And if I hover over here and click on the pencil icon, I can actually go in and adjust the minimum and maximum possible weights of that optimized portfolio. So for instance, if a client really wanted to have 10% of their portfolio allocated towards SPY, I can go in and adjust to make sure the minimum at least hits that 10% threshold. I can then add a time frame. So I'm just going to do a look back of five years. So I'm going to go in and adjust those dates here. And then you see I can choose the strategy. So if I click this, the dropdown will open and there are four possible strategies including the maximized sharp ratio, which is just going to give you the highest risk adjusted return, the target return, which is going to minimize the portfolio performance volatility based on that return value, the target standard deviation, which will maximize portfolio return for a given target risk, and then the minimized standard devi deviation, which is going to minimize the overall risk of the portfolio. I'm going to just go in and choose maximize sharp ratio. This one does not require me to enter in a value. So I'm going to go ahead and click calculate. As you can see, a correlation heat map has loaded. And if I scroll down, I can actually see that a lot of the holdings are giving me shades of blue, which means they are either uncorrelated or close to being correlated. So if I hover over them, I can see that actual correlation along with the name of both securities. Now, if I scroll down even more, you can see that the further orange a security gets on this heat map, the more anti-correlated the two securities are. As you can see, my portfolio's holdings are different shades of blue, which can give me a hint that I might want to diversify the portfolio a bit. If I scroll back up and head to the Efficient Frontier and Portfolio Summary tab, the first thing that is going to load on this page is a scatter plot of an efficient frontier. And as you can see, the x axis is going to be the standard deviation, whereas the y axis is going to be the expected return. It has also plotted all of the individual securities as well as if I hover over this purple dot here, this is the original model portfolio. And then if I scroll over to the orange, this is going to be the optimized portfolio. So it's going to give me information such as the expected return, sharp ratio, and standard deviation. Looking at the side here, you're able to see the weights of the optimized portfolio. So it's showing 90% IWF and 10% SPY. If I go in and I click on one of these blue dots here, you can see that it is also going to go in and adjust the weightings of each holding. This information will also provide me with that expected return sharp ratio and standard deviation as well. If I keep scrolling down, I am then able to see the portfolio overview. So once again, it's going to provide me data for my original portfolio as well as the optimized portfolio. So I'm able to see that portfolio growth. I'm able to then see performance metrics. 
So it's going to compare metrics such as, you know, the max drawdown, the sharp ratio, the annualized standard deviation of both portfolios, as well as tell me the uh, best year, worst year, starting and ending level. One more thing I wanted to point out is this portfolio summary will change based on the allocations you chose up here. So since I chose this one, all of the information below will be as of this data point. If I chose that most optimized portfolio, if I go in and scroll down, that information will then adjust. So now that I have the optimized portfolio, what I can do instead of having to manually go in and create this portfolio and build out the holdings and weightings in our model portfolio tool, is if I scroll all the way to the top here and click export as model portfolio, it's going to open a new tab. Once it's loaded on this page, you can see that it has already inputted the holdings and target weights. It's giving a default name to the portfolio, which you can edit. Once I'm happy with how everything looks, I can go ahead and click save and it will start calculating the portfolio from there. If you have any questions on this tool, please reach out to your designated account manager.